I saw this job description and it was the weirdest kind of mix and hodgepodge of characteristics that I'd ever seen advertised for somebody. And I went, oh my God, this fits me perfectly. You know, must be able to drive a snowcat box ticked, you know, must be able to work on a furnace and keep a facility running, box tick. And so it kind of really intrigued me because it wasn't just putting my scientific skills to use, but the entire repertoire that I've built over my entire career and even back into my childhood. Growing up in Denver, Colorado, we would get these snowstorms. And at the time, I remember pretending that I was in Antarctica and just, you know, being out there and enjoying the, the winter and doing important research or doing important work, you know. Of course, that kind of imparted itself on me, and that's why I love uh, working with it now. This lab was part of three labs initially built to study snow science in the Western US. Of those three, this is the last one standing, really, and has been collecting data since 1946. Donner Pass, in the area where the lab is located, is realistically one of the snowiest places in the continental US. How do these big months that it might be multiple tens of feet, 10, 20, 30 feet, really stack up? Um, and can I survive them in this kind of remote location? And after having the third snowiest month um, in the lab's history back in December of this past year, uh, I'm happy to say that I've passed that test. There's that childlike excitement for the storms, but it's almost just as exciting to be able to take these measurements and collect this data and make these contributions to science so that we can really get a handle on our water resources and where the planet's going in terms of climate change and planetary change as a whole. In addition to working here, I live here at the lab with my wife, Megan, and our two dogs. Morning. You know, there, there hadn't really been anybody full-time at the lab for 18 months. So when I first got here, there were a lot of roommates that I had and not many that I wanted in the terms of having plenty of spiders and plenty of mice here and plenty of ground squirrels as well. But then there was also issues like all the sinks were backed up, so that needed to be taken care of. The internet here wasn't even fast enough to send an email at that point. So that had to be remedied. So it was uh, a very unique process getting the lab up and going after first being hired. And uh, it does feel at home, not only for my career, but for myself and my free time as well. When I'm able to wake up in the morning after a snowstorm and go out and do my measurements and then come inside, it's really kind of nice. Uh, and it's been great so far just being here secluded in the mountains. <laughs>